energy efficiencies definitely support the survival of this business. This is a poultry operation. We have four poultry houses. We raise a half a million birds here every year, and we feed over 26,000 people per year. Hi, I'm Dean Fisher with the Maryland Energy Administration, where our mission is to promote affordable, reliable, clean energy. Let's look at some of Maryland's poultry farms, like Jenny's, to see how they're using energy efficiency to help their businesses thrive. Let's take a look. Jenny, with your grant awards, you focused on energy efficiency measures for your poultry house. And you know it's all about being more energy efficient. And by being energy efficient, I can be a better producer. <laughs> this doesn't look very exciting here, but what's going on inside this plywood covered wall with energy efficiency and the insulation is a considerable upgrade from what you had before. Oh yes, Dean a big upgrade. It's actually very exciting for a chicken grower. Our houses actually used to be part um, particle board and then from here up was actually opened. Through the grant we were able to tear out all the old insulation which I can tell you there wasn't much left after you know after years of wear and tear and you can see how the insulation had fallen down so we made sure that when we put the new insulation in it was all stapled so that it would stay in place and as you can see everything has been caulked so we have gone the extra mile to caulk everything to make sure that we can keep everything as controlled as possible. And part of conditioning the space is having the ability now to vent your space using these vent boxes. Right. So in a chicken house, the way that we get air into the house is through the vent boxes. And when the fan comes on, it forms a pressure, and we call it static pressure. And what it does is as this pressure builds up, it allows the air to roll in and roll across the ceiling. Then as it falls, it heats and it heats the birds. So we have to be very careful about our static pressure. But these will close as the static pressure, as the fans go off. And then they'll open, they open very, very slowly. And when the fans come on, and then we'll pull new air in. So this is how we exchange air into the chicken house. It comes in through the vent boxes and out through the fans. Before with your old walls in the openings, the cold air just kind of came in and went right down to where your chickens were. And you it were could. wasting energy trying to heat. Right that cold air, but right. now you're controlling so now, it. Yeah, so now we're controlling it much better with this new with this new vent box. A lot of energy efficiency going on here. Great. These are your new controls. Can you explain how they help you save energy? Oh, I love them. They're just the best thing we ever put in. We have a, a panel here to control things, and then we have another panel here. So we've got fans running, so we're gonna turn those off. And just with the flick, of a couple buttons, I can turn off the fan. So from here, I can regulate the light because sometimes we'll have bright light, sometimes we'll have dim light as the birds grow. We can regulate all that from here. We can regulate the heat from here. You know, when they come in, they've got to be 90 degrees. By the time they are 36 days old and get ready to leave, they're 68 degrees. So we can regulate all that from here. I can turn lights on and off, turn fans on and off. Before, we just did all this manually. We had different stops throughout the house and we have to walk through the house and we would actually turn little thermostats down and back and so but now everything is very central so we can see exactly what's on this computer at all time we bought an iPad we have an app for that we go on the app and we can see exactly what's going on in our chicken house so maybe as the day warms up we can turn more fan time on to, to cool the house off we can turn the heaters on or off it has just um, the energy efficiency is great, and the time saving for us is even, even greater. A smarter system that is, uh, enables oh. energy efficiency. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it, it is amazing of what it can do. And we can actually track, uh, for the energy efficiency, we can track the heaters and how long they've been on every day. So we can see that maybe heater two ran longer than heater three. So we can go back and say, okay, what's going on there? What are the things that we need to fix? So it makes us very efficient and very good managers of our system. So very excited about it. Great. Dean, these are our new recirculating cool cells or recirculating cool pads as they're called. An evaporating cooling system that uses a phase change of the water to suck up heat and dump it outside. Yes, it's just like a big radiator on the end of my chicken house. We're able to keep our birds cooler because as we talked about earlier, they have to be pretty warm when it comes in and as they, as they grow, we have to cool them down. So by the time the uh, chickens leave here, 68 degrees on a 90 degree day is impossible without these. It's a great system and we the water recirculates, which is another um, efficiency that helps as the water drips down on the pad, 
it goes down to a to a tank down here and that will also recirculate so efficiency all the way around great uh, inside you have the insulated brood curtain where you can take a larger space and make it a smaller space to heat or cool Outside here, you've got this insulated door curtain. This is interesting, and how, yeah. how does this work for this you? This is something you don't you don't see a whole lot, insulated um, door curtain. So this is just the end door of our chicken houses, and this is where they bring the chickens in and they and they take them out. So we use we use this door not a whole lot, but as you can see, it's got cracks in it, and you know when once a fan comes on, it really pulls a lot of air. So we're trying to do every single step we can to keep air from getting into our chicken houses, other than through the vent boxes. So this just, it's pretty easy. As you can see, it rolls down and it'll roll down to the, to the bottom and then has a zipper and then we'll just uh, zip it all the way down. So it really works well to keep air out of our chicken houses. Jenny, these are your new sidewall cone fans. Yes, these are 36 inch sidewall fans. We use them when the chickens are uh, first placed in the house. Uh, before we had old box fans and very inefficient um, old motors on them, so these are new energy efficient motors. The cone shape on the fan makes them much more efficient. The black helps to black out the light, so it works very well. And then as you can see, we also have switchgrass that we have planted uh, here. The switchgrass helps to collect the dust. As you know, when we have animals, we have dust. So as the dust comes out of the fans, it's collected here before it could enter into a waterway or whatever. So another environmental, using environmental practices with energy efficiency is great for me. Best practices and these new fans allow you to uh, circulate the air more efficiently yes. as well as being more efficient motors. So yes. they run less and your birds are happier and healthier. Yes, you said it. Flint Rock Farm is another Maryland farm that's raising the bar on energy efficiency. Dan, can you tell us about your farm? Sure. Well, uh, this is a six-house uh, poultry farm. We raise uh, approximately uh, three-quarters of a million chickens a year at this farm. I've been in uh, poultry farming a long time. I'm actually a third-generation farmer. Can you tell us about some of the measures that you've used to uh, upgrade here for energy efficiency? Sure. Well, uh, one of the measures is uh, LED lighting. Uh, we've gone from uh, some of the houses having uh, older incandescent lights, which are very energy inefficient, uh, to uh, kind of the, the newest state-of-the-art LED dimmable bulbs. Uh, so we're going from a, a 60 or a 100 watt incandescent bulb down to an 8 watt LED bulb that has a much longer life. So there's a significant gain uh, for the farm in terms of cost savings for electricity. That's a substantial uh, savings. And another measure that you've done is the radiant tube heaters and stir fans. That's correct. Uh, the radiant tube heaters really direct the heat down onto the floor, uh, which is where the birds need the heat, uh, right at the bird level. Um, it's much more efficient rather than heating the air in the entire house where a lot of the heat goes up to the ceiling. Um, and the stir fans actually work in conjunction with that by bringing any of the warm air that is up at the ceiling and bringing it down to the bird level. So it's a much more efficient way of heating the poultry house, which again is a uh, cost savings and, and a good return on investment in the long run while saving energy. Mm -hmm. uh, another measure that you did that was really interesting is the insulated attic hatches. Can you talk about those? Well, yeah, what we found is that there's a tremendous amount of solar heat that is uh, automatically entering our attic because the sun's beating on the roofs and uh, that attic is a really warm space. So uh, uh, there's been some studies uh, that have shown that by uh, pulling that air out of the attic through these attic inlets, we can actually utilize that free heat that's provided from the sun, uh, the solar heat. So that's been a great uh, way to tap into that free heat that's already there and utilize some of that uh, attic heat and bring it down into the house where we can use it for uh, the birds and it's, it's a great way to bring some fresh air that's already pre-warmed um, on a sunny day. And decrease the amount of propane required to heat your houses in the winter. That's exactly right. Propane is a, a, a significant cost structure in raising poultry and, and uh, our hope is to be a bit more efficient with that uh, usage of propane and, and use less of it. That's great and control some of your humidity issues also. That's exactly right. Uh, that, that, uh, the more air we can bring into the house, it, it really helps lower that humidity which uh, provides a nice environment for uh, the birds. Now, taken together, all of these energy efficiency upgrades will save you significant energy. How much money do you think that'll mean to you annually? Well, Dean, uh, we're projected to save about $18,000 a year in energy costs, which uh, leads to a return on investment or payback period of about seven or eight years. 
That's great. After eight years, you'll have even more money that you can reinvest into your farm. That's exactly right. Uh, these energy efficiency uh, improvements uh, do add up to make a difference, and uh, it certainly decreases costs and, and helps the farm out. The poultry industry is also experimenting with innovative technologies to cut energy use while reducing the impact on Maryland's environmentally sensitive eastern shore. To learn about one example of innovative technology in action, we're visiting AH Pharma, which conducts private research for the food animal industry. James, what does energy efficiency mean to your business? As a poultry research and development uh, firm, uh, we're always looking for ways of saving energy. Annually, we spend about $20,000 uh, to heat two poultry houses on our farm. Uh, so we're always looking for alternatives uh, to saving energy and consequently propane cost. And you've got a new innovative heating system that you're going to use. Yes, it's, uh, it's a system that takes the normal fermentation heat off of poultry litter and, and moves that uh, into real heat into the chicken house. So are you using chicken waste to heat your house? Absolutely. Oh, that's great. Can we look at the system? Sure. Hi, Jim. Hi, Dean. Can you oh. explain how the system works? Sure, sure. In this big green container, we have uh, manure, poultry manure. And as it heats up and composts, we transfer that heat into our system and then from there further on, on into the birdhouses. It saves a huge amount on farm heating bills, which are the second highest operating expense for poultry producers. And since the system eliminates the need to burn propane, it greatly reduces the farm's carbon footprint. Jim, how much propane do you expect to save using the system? Well, we're not sure yet. Uh, we, we expect about half, and we're working with the University of Maryland Eastern Shore uh, to define that uh, energy savings, uh, especially over time. We expect all of this as a win-win for the poultry industry. To learn more about these and other agricultural energy efficiency projects in Maryland, visit us online.